Hello again, Interrupts. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. My name's Tethys. And we're going to continue... Oh, okay, so that's the letter from the wizard. Awesome. Now we're going to continue getting our resources and our money up so that we can get a chicken coop and then chickens. Uh, this is a robin. Okay, so we'll accept that because we'll probably be wandering, wandering, wandering around quite a bit today. But first things first, we're going to go and water our plants. Because I think we've got two days before the cauliflower finishes growing. And hopefully that brings in a decent chunk of money. Because we need 4,000 uh, G in order to purchase the chicken coop, and then we need 300 wood and 100 stone for that as well. We've got our little blue jazz growing. I think those only are, only are like three or four days. And we got our kitty, we got them watered. <clears throat> Excuse me for my, uh, how I sound today, my throat's a little off. So let's see if we can find um, the X. It'll probably just be um, around the town and whatnot, so also what I want to do is want to go and give Alex his gift for the day, because that's who we're going to be romancing. Is there anything? Nope, nothing here. Okay. <clears throat> and then, oh, shoot. Should have grabbed the geodes while I was, uh, since I'm over here anyway, but. Oh well, not a big deal. We'll go and grab them later. Here you go. And I don't. Yeah, that didn't uh, change anything. He likes maple syrup, so I don't know exactly what level it is we get. Um, we get that at maybe it's I think it's I think it's foraging is when we get the recipe for that. There is how we get the recipe. No, way. so we will we'll be getting some foraging um, experience while we're doing our other stuff. How much is this? 10,000. 10, yeah, that's not for a while. Um, potato, tulip, jazz, grass starters, vinegar, and then saplings. Decorates the floor of a room. Um, wheat flour, sugar, jazz, kale. Uh, take six days in the spring. Plant in spring produce a colorful flower of assorted colors. Well, we could do that. The cauliflower is the most expensive one, so that makes me think that it's going to provide a bigger, a bigger, bigger yield in terms of money. They take tw oh, they take twelve days. Jeez, I thought they took six. What was I thinking? Was six. The jazz seeds take seven. Um, you know what? Let's just go crazy and grab a, make a bunch of tulips. Why not? Why not? So we'll go back and we will plant those. Okay, so we don't have space up near the house as much. 
for all the tulips. And I do want to get them all planted right now because they're gonna take still they're gonna take six days and we'd rather harvest them all at once. So what we're gonna do is just clear out the area down here. I think we have more than enough space for 40 tulips. Just need this clear out. Okay, so... 40 by... We could go 5 by 8 or 10 by 4. Let's go 5 by 8. So we'll go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. Let me just hack our way through all of this. Now I'm hoping we have enough energy to water all of this. We should, though. Alright, planting the tulips. Perfect. Alright, now let's get these all watered. Do this in a grid. Thankfully they don't take too long to grow. In fact, they should be done around the same time everything else finishes. Which would be great, because that'll be a huge ton of money. Which means that we can either, uh, depending on how much we get, save for the chicken coop or go outright buy it. But I'm not going to get my hopes up on buying it. Okay. Now... For crafting... Oh, uh, we're not going to worry about a fence just because that's going to take a lot of energy and it's not going to last long anyway. So there's just really no point in doing it. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to craft another furnace. And then we can just... Oh, right, I forgot we need coal. We can speed up the production of the ore. And what we'll do is we will save um, once we get to one, two, three. Can't remember if the site is upgradable. I don't think it is. So once we have 15 ore, we'll start selling the rest of the ore that we make. And that'll get us uh, at least somewhat of a steady income of money. Or better yet, really the only thing that I need to worry about upgrading to um, copper right now is the sword, or not the sword, the pickaxe and the axe. So we could actually just sell that. And I have no use for clay right now. We'll throw this um, mixed seed in here. Oh, okay, so it does look like only 40 um, things can be watered with a full pail, which is good to know. And that's kind of what I was feeling, but I didn't know if there was like just a sliver of water left in there. So we'll get that mixed seed planted. Do I have any others? I do, I have three. So let's plant those two. Uh, no, one, no, one, two, three. Alrighty, got everything kind of planted today. We've got another copper bar to go through. In here, and now 
Let's see if we can find our way to the wizard. Pretty sure I know how to get there, though. And it's definitely not that way. That's the first thing I'm going to upgrade is the, uh, the pickaxe. Because, oh, excuse me. Um, is because it can get through those rocks. And it just makes it faster for mining as well. So, let's pop on over here. Ooh, horseradish. Yep, there's the wizard's place. So let's go and talk to him, and he'll make us so we're able to understand the little guys in the community center, so we can start gathering stuff. <clears throat> Come in. What, were you sleeping? I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred ch- You get the point. And you, Tethys, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! The Widow Guy. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes, I have, and this one looks like it's scared out of its wits. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious sprites, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. <laughs> I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. One with the forest, what do they mean? Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Aha! Come here. I don't know if I want to go near that green bubbly stuff. Cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss, grub, caramel top, toadstool. I can, and it smells awful. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. I like how I just go and meet this guy and I'm already taking drugs. Gag. Nope, oh, I'm tripping. This is why you don't take strange green stuff from a guy's cauldron, kids. Start seeing trees and either those are leaves or weird weird symbols. I'm gonna go with leaves. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junima Scrolls. Alright, good to know. Now we can go and take those items that we needed <clears throat> to the community center. But first, I don't want to go there yet until we manage to find a leak. Also, what is this? I don't know where this goes. And I'd like to find out at some point. I think it unlocks at a certain point in the game, though. Although I personally haven't gotten to that point. Oh, worms. Copper. Are there any leaks around here? Oh, and there's the sewer entrance. Daffodil. And I, ooh, oh, there's the axe. Haha! -ha. 
Return it to Robin. That's another 250 gold in our bag. And another horseradish. And hopefully we find a leak on the way. Or just more horseradish. That works too. But before we go, we are going to grab... Oh, more worms. Ooh, a palm fossil. Sweet, so we can take that to the... Uh... Oh, we're not going to be able to go to the... Uh... Blacksmith today. Or Robin, for that matter. Because it is 8 p.m., and I believe all, if not most, of the stores are closed. So what we will do is we will quickly refine the last bit of our copper. And we will put away the stuff we don't need. Grab that. And put that away and that away and that away and that away. And that and that. Oh, nope. We're going to have to hold on to that. And that, and that, and that. I'll grab that. Horseradish. Oh, right. I forgot. <clears throat> we gave one of our uh, things to Alex, I forgot. Which isn't necessarily that bad. It's not like we can't find one. As far as I can recall, those are the more abundant of the four things to find. But first, pop. And off we go to bed. And we'll see how much those copper bars bring in, although I don't believe much. Hello, is a little fairy. What are you doing? Interesting. She just made one of my things fully grown. I mean, no arguments here, but why just one? Is there a, a reason? We're also going to have to save one. Oh, what happened? Some of my cauliflower died. Well, that's frustrating. I mean, it's not a huge problem, but it doesn't make it any less aggravating. Get me some water. Go water the kitty. But yeah, I don't know what the cat does, aside from just be there. And I'd like to know. Tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival. Okay. Oh, never mind. She made a whole bunch of them grow. Holy crap. Thank you. It is appreciated. Orange, white, pink. The yellow ones look to be either just rare or just happened to be that way. I think what we'll need to do once I go and uh, let's pick these right now. Okay. Now, we only got one. Oh, we can eat them. Very faint, sweet smell. Interesting. Well, we've got that. We're gonna see if we can find a dandelion on the way. Or is that a, or is that a tulip? Tulip. Okay, not there. Normally I would go the shorter way around at this point, but I'd rather actually go and see if we can find an extra item. So, finger 
fingers crossed. Otherwise, we'll just go and put it in the thing here. Okay, let's just pop in right now since we're right here. And we can take a look at all the stuff we have to find. But for the moment, it looks like it's just foraging that we can do. Which is really easy. The spring foraging. Daffodils, leeks, dandelions, and wild horseradish. Well, we have the wild horseradish and the dandelion. So that's that. And then we'll come across the other two definitely before the end of spring. And the reason we want to work on getting that is because it's just, it takes, it's going to take forever to otherwise finish it. Perfect daffodil. We're gonna pop up over here and just quickly check and make sure there's no leaks hanging around. Doesn't look like it. And since we've gotta come over here and give Robin her, I think it's Robin. Robin? Yes, it's Robin. Gotta give Robin her axe back anyway. Works out quite well. Yo! Found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. But was it not sharpened? Let's get that. Initiation. Okay. Now we're gonna pop down to the library and the blacksmith and get the geodes cracked open and put that palm fossil in the display. Oh, no, you know what, whatever. We'll do it on the way home. Hello. I come bearing gifts. Fossils can go over here. And then up we go to the blacksmith and hopefully we get something good out of it. I'm kind of hoping we get doubles. Because I don't usually, um... The reason I don't sell geodes right off the bat is because sometimes they can be extremely difficult to find once you do, at least from what I've seen. Okay, so that can get sold. Mm, doesn't look like we're having the great- oh, what's that, citrine? Oh, calcite. Sandstone? Sandstone. Okay, so only two things, but that means that we can sell the other one, which I don't know if that sells for a lot. Hello. I come bearing more gifts. That is a stone. And that's obviously stone. And citrine is a crystal. And give me my reward. Melon seeds. When do they plant? In summer. So we've got some more mining, or not mining, uh, farming stuff. Which sets us quite well for, uh, sets us up quite well for summer. We're just gonna pop on down here. And why, you ask? Because this stuff. Every little bit helps. Oh darn. Did I bring my- no, of course I didn't. Got some coral. We'll hold on to this because I'm pretty sure that is used in the community center. Oh, a lot of coral. What's that? Oh, sea urchin. Two sea urchins. I think we have to hold on to one as well because I think that goes in as well into the community center. But sea urchins actually sell for a decent amount of money considering they're just there. Um. I think 
Okay, another daffodil. Have I given anything to Alex for this week? Yes. Can't go and uh, give them more than two gifts a week, which kind of makes sense. If I had my fishing rod, I could have gone and fished in those in the bubbling portion of that uh, river. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Alright, I keep forgetting that that's there. Need to get rid of that ASAP. I also wish I could turn these into seeds. I've never had that fairy show up though before. That's like, that's totally new for me. Um, let's just, what, what's the difference? That's the white. Oh, okay. And that's like a pink. Hold on to the yellow, get rid of that. And that. And sell that, sell that, sell that, 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 that. And the only reason I'm holding on to these different colored tulips is in case each one ends up being worth uh, something different for the community center. I don't want to not have them. So we put the horseradish and the dandelions in. We gotta put the daffodil in later. Um, got the 10 bars. Great, let's go and gather stuff. Okay, so we managed to grab almost a full stack of uh, wood, which is awesome because one more swing and I would have been out of energy. But yeah, I think that's it for today's episode. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what kind of games you'd like me to play in addition to this and Resident Evil. And if you have any comments or suggestions on how to make money a lot more easily than what I'm doing right now, that'd be really appreciated. So thanks for watching. Bye. I'm sitting outside the NTP farm, I think.